All right, so let's bring in Jamie Turner. He's the founder of 60 Second Marketer uh, as we discuss what the NFL has to do to kind of reposition itself here. And, and females are a huge chunk of their audience now with the domestic violence issue that they've been kind of dealing with this year. We want to show an ad that's going to be running tomorrow. Okay. We, we've seen this a couple of times already, but it's one of those ads that you stop and you cannot help but watch. Take a look at this. I mean, that's just powerful. How can you not watch that and just have all the emotions go on that go go through your mind and, and reel you in on that? And it really does a fabulous job of really making the point that this is a real issue. Here's a real situation. Let's look at that and, and, and hopefully find a way to have the NFL navigate their way through this. Because, yes, in short, the NFL does have an image problem. 55% of their audience is female. Mm -hmm. um, and so they really need to start addressing this, and, and that may be uh, one of the things that they can do to start saying this is an issue we've got. Well, I think people want to know when there is a conflict that they have been heard. Yeah. Are these ads, because this is just one of, of a series of ads that they've been doing, is that, do you think that that's enough for it, them it, to, it, it has say, to be, tell the people, we, we hear you? It has to be real, and it has to be genuine. And when you're the NFL, and quite frankly, I go to, I've got three daughters, we go to football games. There's uh, cheerleaders on the on the on, uh -huh. on the sidelines, and great that they want to ha have an athletic thing and, and do all that. But as a parent, I'm trying to say, hey, we're objectifying women here in in a certain way, and there may be some people who disagree with me on that. Mm -hmm. But as a parent, I'm going, this is n not necessarily the way I want you girls to grow up, and I'm not coming down on anybody who does dancing as a as a as a professional. Sure. What about, to Rachel's point, when yeah. she was talking to the commissioner and she was talking about a conflict of interest, Yeah. I mean, how do they navigate those waters? Is it smart for them to hire outside people to come in and fix things, or does it make it look as though they don't have what it takes to fix it themselves? Uh, they do have to hire outside people to come in and fix things. They have to be genuine about it. It can't be something superficial. So this needs to be a program, not just a commercial. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's got to be an entire situation that they go in and they say, we understand there's a problem, we understand there's an issue, let's fix it. And let's do more than just run commercials, which mm -hmm. is a powerful commercial. But that's the top, that's the tip of the iceberg. From there, they got to go deeper. All right, Jamie, so good to Thanks. have your perspective. Thank you so much. Victor?